I'm Autumn from the Furniture Flippers Guide, and today, oh my gosh, we are doing something I've never done before. So let's just cross our fingers and hope it works out well. We are gonna be painting chairs, some material. So we're gonna be using a really awesome product, Beyond Paint, to paint these chairs, and I'm so excited to see how it goes. Beyond Paint is sponsoring this video, and they have amazing paint that has amazing coverage, so I know it's going to be great, but I'm still so nervous because I've just never really done this before. So let's get started and see how it goes. So let's talk about these chairs that I got. They are really cute and they look pretty good from far away, but once you get up close, you see that there's a lot of staining and fading and they have been outside. So my neighbors actually put them at their dumpster and I asked them if I could have it. So I went dumpster diving for these chairs and I'm really excited to try to update them. First thing we have to do with these chairs is to clean them. When I first got the chairs, I used a carpet cleaner and actually cleaned the material. It didn't help a whole lot. Um, and then they sat in my garage and just continued to gather dirt again. So we're gonna vacuum it and then we're going to get started. So I got it all vacuumed, but the material from the bottom of the chairs literally rotted off. It's all clean. I feel comfortable sitting on it. So let's get started. Look at these amazing products I'm gonna be using today. I'm using the Beyond Paint Cabinet Kit. It includes an all-in-one paint with the color of your choice. Today I'm using forest green and it's gonna be so pretty. It comes with a brush, a roller, and a paint tray. Um, do you see my green thumb there? That's the only way I'm ever gonna have a green thumb. If you know me, you know I kill all plants. So I stirred the paint and poured it in and started preparing the surface of my fabric. I will say the Beyond Paint is a little bit thick whenever it comes out, but that just means that it's going to have great coverage. And when we are refinishing these chairs, we're going to be using water. We're going to be spraying the material to get it prepped and ready for the paint. And then I will be making sure that my brush sometimes is sprayed as well to help just smooth out that paint. Some people, whenever they do um, painting a material, they use a fabric softener in their paint or with their water. And I just decided against this because this material was already so thin and already delicate that I didn't want to soften up that material any more than I had to. And the look that I'm going for with this material is almost like a faux leather look. So I wanted it to look um, a little shiny and almost a little bit um, pleathery. Is pleather a word? I think it is. <laughs> So I got started on the back of this piece because honestly, I wanted to try an area where I didn't think it would be seen as much. I wanted to just get my technique down. So I really just worked on spraying all the areas and then following it up with a coat of paint. I made sure that the coat was light because I didn't want any dripping or thick areas because I really want this material to soak in the paint. I sprayed each area individually right before I was about to paint it because I didn't want it to dry out by the time I got around to painting it. And I also just made sure to follow up with that paint really quickly after spraying it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure and go ahead and do that. I would love to have you here to join me on the Furniture Flippers Guide. We do lots of fun furniture flips, tips, DIYs, and dupes. So while I'm adding the paint on here, let me tell you what I love about Beyond Paint. It dries to the smoothest finish, so even if it has a texture 
when you're putting it on, it self levels on material. It even self leveled. I was really, really impressed. An all in one paint that includes a primer, bonder and sealer. That is my favorite part. I went over the large areas with the roller and then followed that up with the brush through the more difficult to reach areas. Okay, day one, I got a coat on one chair and it was time to clean up, put everything away for the day and I would come back to it tomorrow. I will tell you, I was a little bit nervous after the first coat. It looks kind of sketchy and the coverage, I mean, it's good, but it still doesn't look anything where what I wanted. So just know, and what I had read when I did research was first coat, don't judge by the first coat. It's going to come along. It's going to look good. Just keep going. So now that I had my first coat on my first chair, I was ready to get started on the second chair. I just continued to do the whole process of what I had done with the first chair, spraying, then painting in light coats and continuing to get those small areas and the hard to reach areas with the brush. So what I learned from this first coat is just to make sure you go really smooth and that you push that paint into the material. So I went up and down, I went side to side, sometimes I went at diagonal, just to get that paint pushed into the material. And so that helped it a lot. Um, and you take that extra brush that I had, I had a chip brush and I just went into those creases. Now that I've got that first coat dry, I am going to go ahead and sand it down. I used a high grit sandpaper, 220 or above. At one point, I think I used like a 600 grit sandpaper, but I used the 220 first just to get the big rough stuff off. And then I used a 600 over the top of it. And you could even go higher if you want it even smoother, but this actually felt really, really good after I sanded it. So I was really happy with that and I will follow it up with a second coat of paint. Come feel these chairs and tell me the difference. Which one? Oh, this one. I sanded it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that cool? I didn't even know you could do that. It's so smooth and this one's like scratchy. Yeah, it is. I know that it looks like it's kind of bright outside. It is not. It is cloudy and misty. So we have moved all of the furniture inside and we're gonna continue working in here. So I am going to be adding to the chairs and adding another coat and I'm really excited to see how much coverage we get. It's going so well. You'll be amazed. So I just continued adding another coat, sanding between. Continue that process until you get the look that you want. There were some areas that needed a third or fourth coat because you could see the buffalo check through it a little bit and because I'm watering it down. So normally with Beyond Paint, I am not using more than two coats ever because it is great coverage, but on material that I'm watering down, I did have to do some more coats. So. We'll keep adding it. Here we go. I 
I would love to hear what you think, so be sure and share with me too. Would you have left it to where the buffalo check shows through? Would you have painted it a different color? I would love to hear. So I had a picture in my mind of what I wanted these chairs to look like. I had found an inspiration picture and it was a green chair with gold legs. And so my idea was just to use some gilding wax, some uh, rub and buff gold on the legs and just really have them pop. So I quickly added some of that to it and they really just shined up beautifully. I also took the rub and buff and took a small painter's brush and just rubbed it on each of the little tacks that go all the way around. I had gone ahead and painted over the top because I didn't want to individually paint and I just, who has time for that, you know? So I went ahead and just golded up all over those tacks and they shined up gorgeous. I fixed a few tiny details with a painter's brush and I was almost ready to be done. Last but not least, we are going to seal this piece. I'm so excited. So the coverage looks amazing. The gold looks amazing. Everything is turning out beautiful. Let's seal it up and see how it looks. I'm pumped. So like I said, this paint has a built-in sealant, but this chair is going to get some heavy duty use so i'm going to be using beyond paints multi-purpose sealer just to add some extra protection this sealer is perfect for indoor and outdoor products it protects your most heavily used indoor painted surfaces and it even provides heat and water resistance i finished up with the sealant let it dry and okay you ready to see how it turned out here we go. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that flip. I'm in love. And thank you again to Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. Their paint is legit. I mean, it speaks for itself. If you haven't tried it, go check out the link in the description and I've got a discount code for you. Also, be sure to remember that you've got this. Don't let fear stop you from trying new things. Thanks for being here with the Furniture Flippers Guide. We'll see you at the next flip.